Everyone makes mistakes. Fortunately for you and me, thousands of people aren't there to let us know we messed up and boo us when we spill coffee on ourselves. And baseball, the stat-hungry sport that it is, does a pretty good job at tracking all the on-field fuck-ups. And though they happen often, the error stat definitely reinforces the sentiment of, come on man, you should make that play. It's cool though, these dudes make millions of dollars to play a kid's game. It's time for us average fans to point some fingers and laugh. Here are five MLB defensive records nobody wants. Number five, most errors in a season. Now, players in the early eras of baseball get a little bit of a pass on defense considering that the gloves that they were using at the time literally were the side of a cow sewn into an inflexible leather frying pan that they would use to try and catch the ball. In fact, until 1920, baseball gloves did not even have a webbing on them, and hence, we will have a two-part record here. The record for most errors in a season is held by Herman Long, who booted an amazing 122 balls in 1889 in 136 games for the Kansas City Cowboys. Long was primarily a shortstop and 1889 was his rookie campaign. Fortunately for Long, he was a decent hitter and would go on to play 16 major league seasons. But man, that's a lot of straight suck for one year. The record for the modern or live ball era is a tie between two mistake makers, Lonnie Frey and Joe Cronin, who accomplished their feats of 62 errors in 1936 and 1929, respectively. That's more kick balls than in a soccer match, and really Lonnie Frey has less of an excuse, as by 1936, gloves started to look like actual baseball gloves and not mouths of tired dogs. Side note, the highest error count in one year in the last 20 years is Jose Offerman with 42 in 1992. Wow, that's hot garbage. Number four, most errors in an inning by a pitcher. I really like this unwanted record as it is held by four players and three of them are in the modern era and even better within the last 30 years. The record for most F-ups in an inning by a pitcher is three, held by Tommy John, yes, the actual pitcher, not the surgery, Mike Sirotka, Jaime Navarro, and Cy Seymour. Now, as many of you know, earn run average is a stat that nerdy analysts take a look at to gauge how good a pitcher is. But what's interesting and unique about baseball is that ERA is one of the few stats that accounts for what should have happened on the field versus what actually did. For example, if a shortstop fields the ball cleanly and throws it to the first baseman and the first baseman drops it, the shortstop still gets credit for the assist even though an out wasn't recorded. I know it sounds like the dumbest rule ever. I bet some quarterbacks wish that was a thing in the NFL. Another thing with ERA is that when the third out of an inning should have been recorded and an error occurs on that play, the pitcher is no longer responsible for any runs that are let in after that. Also, if three errors occur in an inning, the pitcher is not responsible for any runs either. So in the case of our record holders here, none of the four pitchers mentioned were on the hooks for any of the runs they gave up in the inning, provided that happened after the third out should have been recorded. And even funnier than that, these dudes were the ones making all the mistakes. It's kind of like murdering your ex-wife and getting acquitted for that crime, the whole world knowing it was you, and then not be able to be convicted for that crime ever again, and then committing armed robbery and going to jail for nine years and then getting paroled and saying you've never threatened anyone with a weapon. Nobody's ever accused me of pulling any weapon on them. <laughs> not really, but I had to work OJ into this somehow. Charge our justice system with three errors on that one. Number three, worst defensive team of all time. Team fielding is hard to gauge. Just because a team made the most errors in a season doesn't mean they were the worst fielding team of all time. Just means they made a bunch of errors. One stat we can use is defensive efficiency, which measures the rate at which a team's fielders turn balls in play, except for home runs, into outs. Basically, it's an overview stat that tries to take everything into account, including fielders' range, throwing ability, and of course, errors. And no team had a lower fielding efficiency record than the 1930 Philadelphia Phillies, who had a total of .631 or 63%. And it's no surprise that the higher this figure is, like the Cubs had last year of .745, usually equates to wins. 
and the lower this amount usually equates to losses as the 1930 Phillies team finished 52 and 102 and dead last in the NL and of course they committed the most errors in the league and had the worst fielding percentage in the league as well. Basically this was an entire team of Mark Reynolds out there. Number two, most pass balls, catcher. So you have to wonder, we've put everyone on the field on trial so far, but what about the suckiest guys behind the dish? The pass ball is a stat wherein the judge of the scorekeeper, that catcher was able to catch a pitch and just didn't do it, and it results in a runner advancing or heaven forbid scoring. And something that generally pisses fans of the offending team off. The all-time single-season record holder for this is Rudy Kemmler, who couldn't catch crabs from a Kardashian when he let 114 balls by him in 1883. The record for the modern era is Gino Petrali, who mishandled more balls than Monica Lewinsky when he let 35 past him in 1987. Remember, by 1987, we had things like the modern catcher's mitt, and in 2017, we still do. Number 1. Most seasons leading the league in errors for an outfielder. Okay, so we have picked on pitchers, middle infielders, catchers, and now it's time to clown outfielders. You really don't have many excuses for making errors in the outfield. You have more time than anyone to make the play, and unless you are playing in the Metrodome or you don't have those cool-ass flip-down sunglasses that my dad would never buy me, Catching a fly ball is as easy as scoring blow when you're hanging out with Charlie Sheen. And unfortunately for Hall of Famer Lou Brock, he led the league in outfield errors seven times, the most ever. Brock was a pretty one-dimensional player as his career was built upon getting on base and stealing that base, which he was only successful 75% of the time and his OPS was pretty bad, but you know this guy is in the Hall of Famer. Remember, this video is about defense. Lou Brock isn't on trial here. But if he was, you know whose lawyer he should call. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Agree with my list? Think I left any off? Leave a like, comment, and I hope you subscribe for more videos like this. I'm Five Points Vids, and you made it to the end of this video.